So first of all, you need to understand why you should create your own image. It is extremely safe, first of all. There's no software that could potentially be in other images. And then you can choose whichever OS you want. Now, you will need three things. The first is a program called Putty. Download it and install it into your PC. And the second one will be a software called VNC Viewer. This one will help you connect to the image and create your own custom image. So we'll move on to creating the droplet. Now I recommend you follow along and pick what I choose um, that will make it easier. Pick at least $20 a month. Um, you can't go less than that. Um, for the data center, choose whichever one's closest to you. For me, it's going to be Singapore and you will have to create your own password and remember it yourself. Hostname, choose your own hostname and we'll create the droplet soon. It's going to take a few moments but once it's done you can click on it and we shall see that it's been created. Now all you need to do is open Putty once it's finished installing and just copy the IP address on the left section there and just copy paste there port is 22 just open it and then accept that security alert now log in as root and enter your password previously just right click to paste on Putty and you should be able to enter Now for the next section, you will need all of these lines of code. Just input them one by one and it will immediately run by itself and install all the necessary files before you get started on creating the image. Just copy and paste, I'll put the link in the description and don't forget to also sign up using my link below. Okay, so once that's done, you can now create an empty image using the this command right here. Now, you can edit the name based on what OS you want. For me, it's going to be Windows 2019, so I'm going to write Windows 2019.image. And then now, we have to download the drivers for the Windows. Now, here I'm giving you a link to find whichever version is the most updated for me it's this one and I'm going to try and grab the links for you and after that we have this Windows Server now there's a lot of options here server 2019 2016 2012 and even 2022 and you can pick whichever one you want and in here you should put your own uh, details and sign up using your own details and once you get that you'll get this link and you can get it directly or you can just copy my command below as you can see the first one will, will be downloading the drivers it'll take a few seconds and then we will download the windows os the the iso file that we get from microsoft themselves it'll also take a few seconds Okay, now we need to check if we have all the necessary files. Just click type ls and you will see at least three files there. The 
next step is to emulate the Windows OS using the command below and then after you copy paste you need to click enter twice and you should be able to connect to VNC with the IP address this will pop up and this window will appear it should take a few minutes to load this up but I've sped it up so it's a bit quicker once you log in you'll see the screen and you can click install now okay here you want to pick the one that says desktop experience since that one installs the graphical unit environment as well now you need to custom install since we need to install some drivers uh, uncheck that and browse and here you will need two things first of all it's going to be the view store and here you will have a bunch of options pick the one that matches your OS for me it's 2k19 since it's 2019 pick whichever one and install it okay the next one we will need one more and it is going to be net kvm as typical choose your own os and install whichever one once that's done just click next and windows should start to install this will take a few minutes maybe even more depending on how fast the droplet is so just be patient so this droplet will restart a few times when it's installing just don't worry when it flashes and closes by itself it will eventually boot up normally as you can see here now you can pick your own password to log into Windows I recommend an easy one for now Now the controls in this VNC viewer will be a bit laggy and loading to Windows will also take a bit of time so just be patient. <coughs> now you just need to send control alt delete via VNC settings. enter your password before and we just need to wait for the droplet to load windows this will take time and i'm going to fast forward a bit now here i fast forwarded a bit now there's two things that we need to do here First of all is remote desktop, we need to enable it and uncheck that box. And the other thing that we need to do is to disable the control alt delete login. So we wouldn't have to always press control alt delete to log in to your windows you can go there by following the steps on the video
just click enable that and you're done at this point all you need to do is restart your windows and let it save the settings this will also take some time so just be patient And once you get into the login screen, you can safely close the viewer and exit from Puri by clicking Ctrl C. And then now is the next step. We need to be able to host the file in our droplet. <coughs> okay, so as you can see, we have three files. Now all we need to do is compress the image file. Now this will take a lot of time, about 20 minutes to compress. Once it's done, you will see that we now have a file called windows2019.gc. Okay, the next thing we want to do is follow these commands so that we can actually grab our file from this droplet this will install Apache and then we will, are going to allow it and then the next thing will be to copy the zipped file into an accessible spot fast forward again now to check if it works all you need to do is copy your IP open a new browser and slash the name of the file dot gun zip and it'll me immediately download you'll know it works if it downloads by itself now there's a few things i recommend here i recommend you to download the file entirely and host it on google drive so you can actually reuse it over and over for future projects that's it thanks for watching